It is perfectly possible to energy optimize a ventilation system without necessarily replacing the ventilation unit. One obvious way is to look at the fan, the most energy consuming feature of a ventilation system. If the system is more than 10 years old, then it is most likely equipped with belt driven fans. This type of fan can be replaced with a centrifugal fan, which has a combined ventilator and EC motor, as well as integrated operation, that makes it a highly energy efficient solution. This also means that a frequency converter, shielded cable and motor protection are unnecessary. Before replacing an AC fan with an EC fan, the airflow and pressure on the existing fans are determined in order to dimension the new EC fans to provide an airflow similar to the existing ones. Determining the amount of space available is also important because centrifugal fans require a minimum separation distance to make it possible to calculate the energy savings and payback period. When technicians work with this, they must be able to measure the airflow and pressure above the fan. Then, when you integrate the fan, a partition can be made to divide the compartment into a pressure side and a suction side. Minimum separation distance requirements must be met, but since the new fans are so compact, there is normally always room for them. This energy saving technology means that it can pay off to remove the old belt driven fans in about 70% of all ventilation systems by replacing them with a new EC fan, which translates into a 30 to 70% saving. The clips we just saw were from a fan replacement in a regulated ventilation system. The power consumption prior to replacement for current CO2 emissions was measured at 510 watts. After replacement, the power consumption with the same airflow and CO2 emissions was measured at 214 watts. The energy consumption was more than halved in spite of the fact that the previous system was frequency regulated. The high energy savings are of value to the customer and mean that the investment is typically recovered in two to two and a half years.